25 years ago today, Central Illinois was left devastated by the largest tornado outbreak in state history. 39 tornadoes later, areas were damaged from Springfield to Decatur to Southeast Urbana and Ogden, Illinois. Tonight, we take a look back 25 years ago at the reports from the storm and after the storm from our own Judy Frazier. And I cannot remember ever a worse night than last Friday night. So we're going to try to take a look at where those storms hit. Now, the first major touchdowns were reported at Jacksonville and at New Berlin outside Springfield. Then we had Decatur got walloped for a second straight night. And this time it was Harristown and the Ravenna Park neighborhood. Then Pyatt County's turn with several tornadoes in the Mill Mine and Monticello areas. The storm's track then moved to southern Urbana, Eagle Ridge, and Ennis Ridge. And finally to the town of Ogden in eastern Champaign County, where the entire town was almost wiped out. And all along, of course, this path of destruction, the tornadoes changed the lives of hundreds of people in a matter of seconds. Channel 3's Elaine Kagas tells us how residents dealt with the tornadoes. Mother Nature first struck Friday night in Sangamon County near the community of New Berlin. Nearby in Macon County, Decatur residents were still in shock over another tornado that swept through 24 hours earlier. And in Ogden, the violent weather sent residents scrambling for cover. Well, I got my family into the bathtub in our bath, and within two seconds, uh, it hit. By the time it was over, parts of central Illinois looked like a war zone, with only piles of debris left where entire neighborhoods once stood. But amazingly, only one person died on Interstate 74 near Ogden. High winds there picked up a semi-trailer and threw the victim, a Missouri woman, out of the vehicle. Throughout the area, the fury of the storms was evident, with homes destroyed and lives turned upside down. Kathy Shewitt was in the basement of her Urbana home when the tornado hit. I kind of saw just from the um, basement door, you know, it was dark, and I saw how bad it was, and I just was thankful that my boys were fine, because we can rebuild. Nearby, some Ogden residents whose church was heavily damaged by the storms spent this past Sunday worshiping in neighboring St. Joseph. Like other tornado survivors, they're having a tough time coping. A heartbreak. It looks like a bomb hit it. We don't know whether we can rebuild or what we do. Recovering from the storms has also been difficult for Decatur resident George Blackwell. He says neighbors and the Red Cross have helped him carry on. To me, it's taken all you can muster to keep things under control for me and her and try to survive this thing. But we will survive it. Despite the overwhelming destruction, some things remain intact, like the strength and determination of the human spirit. Well, we'll come back from it. It's, you know, we're here to stay. We've been here for 126 years. We're going to be here a lot longer. And that's a sentiment being echoed by storm survivors throughout the region. As they look back on this disaster one week later. 25 years later, the memory of that frightful day still holds fast in many people's minds as those tornadoes left a lasting mark on communities across central Illinois. This Thursday at 6.30 will be our severe weather special weathering the storm. You can join us then. We'll take a look back at the Ogden and Urbana tornadoes, talk about the big hailstorm in 2020, and provide you with severe weather safety tips. You can join us right here Thursday night at 6.30.